Welcome to Stamping Sunday. This is an open collab hosted by Thelma Hall and Paula at Crafton by the Pond. This is to encourage us to do some stamping throughout the week and share what we've been up to. And today I am going to do some masking. My name is Emily and you found Emily's Paper Caper where I'm all about scrapping my stash. I love to scrapbook and I also make cards and junk journals. So this collab has really encouraged me to get my stamps out and use them more and revisit some techniques that I've learned over the years to really have some creative fun using my stamps and supplies on hand. Let me tell you what I mean by masking. If you want to do a series of stamps and you don't mask, it's gonna look like this. But masking will give you a really neat 3D effect and what you need to do is create a mask. I've used a post-it note, so there's a little bit of sticky on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my first ornament. Then I'm gonna take the mask and carefully place it over that. And then I'm going to stamp again. And I can move that mask, place it again, stamp one more time or as many times as I want and it really starts to look like a real collection of Christmas ornaments because I'm protecting the stamped images with the mask so I really like that a lot I will do another one of these you can keep using the mask over and over. It gets a little messy, but it doesn't matter. What do you think? Are you gonna give this a try or have you done this before? And if you have any tips, let me know. I'd love to learn what you find to work best when you're masking. I also got out this solid leaf stamp. I thought it would be fun to work with. First, I need to create the mask. I have some yellow, red, and brown ink here. I thought it would be fun to use a variety of colors since this time of year the leaves are really changing colors. So the mask is just on a scrap piece of paper or on a post-it note. You're not going to use this for anything except the mask, so it's totally okay if it gets stamped over and over and gets a little messy.
Let me know down in the comments what you think of this technique. And I will probably color these in and use them on a Christmas tag. Be sure to check the hashtag Stampin' Sunday to see what everyone else has been doing with their stamps this week. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everybody.